What is going on guys? It's Ben here bringing another Brawl Stars video. So today we have two very special guests. They have 1400 trophies with some brawlers here and it's pretty crazy. So we are joined by a guest YDE. That's his YouTube channel on Brawl Stars. He makes amazing content. He's got some amazing high level trophy pushing and whatever. So definitely check him out and check out his Twitter. It's going to be linked in the description and on the screen. You'll see it. Then we also have I'm Skyrix here. He's going to start posting some more high level gameplay on the YouTubes, but Definitely check out their channels, give them some support because this is no easy feat getting up to this high in trophies and a lot of dedication. I'm sure you guys could learn a lot about just how to play Brawl Stars at a high level and whatever by checking them out. So how are you guys doing? Well, uh, thanks for having us on your channel. I'm doing really good, thanks. Yeah, I'm doing also good. Thanks for having us. No, no, no problem, man. Like, honestly, thank you guys for like pushing this far to see like the boundaries of how you can push. Now, you guys are currently at like 1,431 with Leon. I think it's 1,441 with Spike. What is the what is the goal? Like, how how high do you guys want to go? The goal from the beginning was just to get as high as we possibly could, and yeah, right now at the end of the season, I think we can get to around uh, 1,500 trophies. <laughs> 1,500. That's insane. That's almost that's pretty much triple than a lot of my brawlers. <laughs> So, before you guys got to 1400, like, Skyrex, what was your highest brawler that you've ever pushed to? Um, I think it was Terra to 1036, I think. 1036? Yep. That is still, that's crazy. Now, what game mode was that then? Was that before Siege or after Siege? Yeah, th that was before Siege. It was in Brawl Ball. Brawl Ball? Okay. I think I always remember seeing you playing Brawl Ball, so that was probably then. <laughs> and then, YDE, what was, what was your biggest or highest brawler that you pushed before this? Um, well, I pushed my Mortis uh, to all 1,000 trophies uh, together with Skyrix uh, in Brawl Ball as well. Brawl Ball? Okay. Was this like, bef was this before the update where they changed like the shot, right? Or Mortis yeah, was really... Was yeah. Okay, Just okay. Before. Gotcha. So, now, 1,400 is a lot of trophies. Uh, how long? When I say, do you guys like push during the day and is like, what game modes do you guys normally play? We only push in Siege because basically it makes all the other game modes completely irrelevant because we're able to gain double the amount uh, of trophies. And yeah, the thing is we have to stay in matchmaking for an average like 20 minutes and yeah, we would still have to stay in matchmaking for 20 minutes if we were to play like gem grab or heist and yeah, and we would only gain two trophies. Gotcha. So, I don't know if you guys heard that right, if you want to hear it again. How, how long did you stay in matchmaking? Uh, matchmaking takes like 20 minutes. 20 minutes, guys. So, 20 minutes a match, to just even get in a match. What is the trophy gain and the trophy loss up there? Yeah, yeah. the trophy loss, it's minus 14 trophies, and we gain plus 4 trophies, and that's in Siege. So, it's Siege? Minus, and, yeah. minus plus four, minus four D. Oh my gosh! So in the other game modes, that would be plus two and uh, minus seven trope. Okay. So any other game mode, plus two. That's <laughs> two trophies minus seven. So have you guys lost a lot on this push up, or was it usually going on these big long win streaks, or like lose? I think losing gives us a um, like minus one hour, uh, one hour. And like gaining these trophies, um, again, is pretty hard. So like, we are trying not to lose. And like, yesterday we were in matchmaking, like, and it was pretty late. And I just fell asleep, and then we lost. <laughs> so let me get this straight. You you guys were waiting for a match in matchmaking, the 20 minute long matchmaking, and you guys yeah. are probably trying to get the most out of Siege because it's only every other day it comes up, and it's late, and you fell asleep. Yeah. While matchmaking, <laughs> and then you get into the match, and then you lose, and then you wake up, and you're like, "Oh my god, just lost 14 trophies. That's an hour yeah. or so. That's an hour or so just yeah. wasted." <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. So now, when you guys play, do you guys normally in like comms, or do you guys just play like without talking, or how do you guys go about that? Yeah, we are always in a voice chat, and then in between, we just mute ourselves and. I, I watch YouTube videos and yeah, Skyrixy checks social media and yeah, like 
Seems 20 minutes, right. you can do a lot of things. I mean, yeah, you got 20 minutes, you could... Yeah. <laughs> you could do it, you could go make a meal, come back, still be waiting, you know? So it's like, I know you guys use Spike and Land. is that mainly just because you feel like those are the best brawlers on the majority of the siege maps, like easiest to push, or do you think it's because those are the, maybe like two of the best brawlers right now, just in general? No, just before like we want to do it, we were just like, what brawlers are we going to push and like, I just uh, choose Leon and Whitey just choose um, Spike. Okay, so would you say those are your favorite brawlers or do you have other favorite brawlers? Um, my favorite brawler is Piper. Piper, okay, okay. And yeah, uh, my favorite brawler would probably be Mortis. Mortis? Even, yeah. um, okay, do you still play him in Brawl Ball after the changes or not so much? Um, well, not as much as before, but uh, I still try to make him work sometimes. Do you guys think, like, when you were pushing up to your 1400s, did you, was it a lot of, like, I don't know how to say that, how to say this correctly, like, was the competition, like, always, like, pro players usually? Or did you sometimes get matched down, like, after waiting so long? Um, like, so how was the competition, like, around those high-level matches? Okay, so, basically, in order to actually gain trophies, we have to have an insanely high win rate. So, it, like, we play for the most part against players that are not as good as us in okay. order for us to get such a high win rate. But, uh, I mean, OG, Bobby, uh, really good players. We play them, like, a couple times every day. And, yeah, I would say, like, of course, the best players that I match with will play against them. Okay. So it's not every single time, like, you're just playing against, like, pro, pro, pro. Sometimes you get, like, some people that maybe just were pushed up a bunch and they're not as crazy as, like, the pro players and stuff. Yeah, like, trophies, they they can reflect your skill, but some people, they just play a lot and get trophies. And when we match against them, we can win pretty easily. And, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I say Siege has a lot to do with that, like, because, like you said, it kind of puts to shame all of the game modes for trophy pushing wise. So, like in general, just for trophy pushing tips, would you guys say like strictly if you want to get them as fast, like siege, or what do you guys go about for like trophy pushing? Yeah, def definitely, definitely siege. Like it's so fast, it's like insane. Like if siege is out, you have to play so much like before it runs out. So definitely siege. Okay, now do you find you guys like not playing so much the other game modes because of Siege? Or do you still play them with well, when it's out, just not to the extent of like, oh, I'm pushing up this brawler super high? So we just don't want to play like the other game modes just because matchmaking is so long and like winning a few games gives us plus two. And like if we just lose one game, it's like minus seven and just, just resets all the way back. And in Siege, you get the double amount of trophies, so it's way better. Also, we don't have like that much time to play, like, um, order the other game modes. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Matchmaking so, still takes 20 minutes, and yeah. you only get plus two instead of plus four. Yeah. So, there's some good insight there, guys. Like, even if you get high trophies, it's the matchmaker that's the killer. Would you guys say, like, maybe Siege needs to be like nerfed a little bit, or do you kind of like it how it is? Like with trophy gain wise, because like you say, it's pushed like to shame all other game modes. Yeah, I mean, like, what are your thoughts on that? Definitely change each, but I mean, the intention was really good to get extra trophies for longer games, mm -hmm. but they just didn't think of how long matchmaking it would be on top of the ladder and like how it would be the only viable option if you want to push. Now, I kind of want to talk about the brawlers individually. Like, I feel like. To get up to that high in trophies, obviously you have to be pretty much masterful of that brawler. So I'm sure you guys could shed some light on Spike and Leon, like, or let's say, let's go over Spike first. So like, Whitey, what do you usually find yourself doing with Spike, like with his super or maybe against like, cause I know Frank and like Bull a lot of time, or yes, yeah, not so much Bull anymore, but he's in there sometimes. Like those close range brawlers, how do you deal with them? And then how do you deal with like the thrower brawlers in Siege and any other game modes really? Yeah, like for Spike, he's, his range is very underrated because actually he got one of the longest ranges in the game uh, with the spikes that come after his uh, explode. Um, and that's definitely something you want to use to uh, shoot around corners and yeah, get to places that you wouldn't put with other brawlers. 
Uh, but yeah, also another thing is uh, keeping in mind um, that he is, doesn't have a lot of HP, close range combat, and that's where his super comes in really handy um, because it heals him and also slows down his opponents and you want to take advantage of. So in the beginning of the match, you want to uh, keep your range until you get your super and then you can push up. Gotcha, gotcha. Now, do you, do you typically find yourself more of like using your super for those close ranges or do you kind of like use it more for zoning or is it all just really depend on the match? Yeah, it definitely depends on the match. And okay. also uh, the brawler that you are playing against. Uh, is there is there any like bad matchup like you know how sometimes like if you're having a tough time with the brawler I mean I was playing with you guys yesterday I know like I could not handle like the thrower brawler so just like switch <laughs> so like is there any brawlers that you feel like are tough for spike and sometimes you'll switch off maybe switch lanes or something yeah with spike it's impossible to play against uh, a Bali <laughs> I think I switched with you a few times when uh, you play I forget who was playing Spike, but I switched a few times though. So sorry about that. So now Skyrex for Leon. So what are you, like your best kind of tips for him? Like is it like for a super, what are your best uses for that? Like running away, getting in close? Do you try and be more aggressive now when you don't have a super? Do you kind of stay back and chip like brawlers down or do you still just kind of be aggressive? So what are your thoughts on Mr. Leon? Okay, um, if you don't have a super and like in siege and just trying to get close to people and pressing out him because with Leon you're mostly going, just going to press out him mm -hmm. and because his shots you're dealing more damage you're higher to get to, to the people so just trying to get close to them and getting your super so you can use a super and um, there are a couple of ways to use the super so when you respawn, uh, when you respawn you can use the super just to get high um, to the action and also, if like someone is right in front of you, you can still use it. Well, they will see that you use it, but you can just make them freak out, shoot, or, uh, shoot around, and just trying to find where you are. That's also a way. And if you're like running out of super, um, and you're not getting close to like a brawler, you can just hide in a bush um, and just surprise them if they are coming, if they are coming close. But other than that, if you don't have a super, and um, just try and get close to like. For instance, a meter, maybe not a spike, because he has high, high DPS. Um, yeah, just try and get close to them, uh, get your super. Yeah, Leon's crazy. Still, even if they nerfed him like four times in a row. So, yeah, yeah. do you do you think he needs more nerf? Do you still think he's OP? Or I mean, um, I think like in competitive, you can. The best way, like if Leon is in this, just stay around, um, stay close. But yeah, like, like group with your teammates him, and everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I would nerf him, I think I would give him a small um, damage nerf. Damage but nerf? I don't okay. think so. Like, you can nerf his damage, but I don't think he needs a big nerf. Okay. Okay. Well, you might be a little biased because you're dominating with him right now, but... <laughs> <laughs> so now, why do you for Spike? Do you, do you think he needs a little bit of a nerf, or do you think he's pretty fair? I think uh, with Hal, with the buff he got recently... Uh, he's not that strong in this meta because Kal is a huge counter uh, against Spike. So, mm -hmm. do you, yeah. do you, think he's, do you think he's pretty good? Okay. So now, aside from Siege, like, what are like probably like the best game mode for for Spike? That would be uh, Brawl Ball and Gem Grab. Brawl Ball and Gem Grab. Okay. Okay. And then for Leon, what do you think is aside from Siege the best game modes for him? Um, definitely gem grab and yeah, definitely gem grab and brawl also. Brawl? Okay. Do you yeah. guys do you guys dabble in showdown also, at all also, or not? Also bounty. Also bounty. Oh yeah, bounty. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So there is one thing I want to ask about um, siege that I forgot. So I feel like because I play with like I play random a lot, and if anyone can like maybe give some shed some light on it, is you guys that are playing at a such a high level is it more important to go for the bolts and secure those down or is it more important to like keep mid control like map control so i don't know what are your thoughts on that uh well having the map control it will basically just give you all the bolt but in some situations i would say it will be fine to just go for the bolts to for example get the final boss uh, and yeah if you get the boss you can pretty easily in the control 
after the boss is dead. Okay. And I remember, I noticed when I was playing with you guys for a little bit yesterday, like, say the the bot was middle of the map, like, rushing our, our Ike or whatever. You guys would seem to be okay, like, just maybe standing right in front of it, getting as much damage and respawning. Is that because of, like, the invincibility or just to put you back in the spawn and put you in a better spot? Um, yeah, like, if, like, the bot is coming, just try and get as much damage as you can on him. And the best way is just to make, like, someone just die and respawn with in invisibility. Um, and I think that's the best way, so you can hold him, like, for four or five seconds and not get any damage. Okay. Gotcha, because I feel like that's pretty key, like, to keeping away the damage and whatnot, yeah, and so... If, like, if, like, the bot is coming, you should, like, as a Leon or something, like, as a Crow Mortis, you should definitely go for the brawler behind him, and not go for the, like, um, a robot, a robot boss. So, just try and get them, and, yeah. yeah gotcha. So they can support, they can support the push. Yeah. Spikey can go into the bus and hit with all of his spikes, dealing 15,000 damage the first time, and then when he respawn, another uh, 15,000 damage. Jeez. Plus, plus he has that super to like slow down that boss coming down too, if you have it. Like, yeah. yeah. Like, he's yeah. really key on defense. Do you guys have any other general tips, like, mainly for like, just getting maybe better at Brawl Stars? Is it just like practicing with people you know, maybe I don't know, or just like trophy pushing tips, anything that comes to mind, just how to make people yeah. maybe listening a little bit better. Yeah, def definitely don't play with randoms. <laughs> and, Number one tip, yeah. don't play with randoms. <laughs> don't play with randoms. And yeah, just try and watch like YouTubers, like try and get like what they are doing with each brawler, how they are playing him, and just try and learn how to play a specific brawler. I feel like there's a bad connotation with auto aim because like it's easy. But I feel like with some brawlers, it actually is like, it's it's like, why not? Like, do you guys feel that same way? Because I know, I don't know, it's auto aim is a big, it's a polarizing subject. I don't really like uh, auto aim in the game, but since it's here, I think definitely there's no reason to make it harder for yourself. And yeah, for the tips, uh, I would say the same as Skyrix, don't play with randoms. And uh, yeah, for trophy pushing, find a team. Uh, and play Siege only, because Siege is just the way to go, and yeah, I think, gotcha. yeah, that's pretty much it. Gotcha, so, last question here, so aside from Brawl Stars, I mean, I guess probably recently, it's been taking majority of your time, but do you guys have any hobbies outside of it, like, I don't know, reading, maybe other games? Well, I don't really read that, um... I don't really read, but if I'm not like playing bosses or something, I'm just probably watching and watching anime. Oh, what animes, man! <laughs> well, right now I'm watching One Punch Man. One Punch Man, okay, season two, right, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. What, it, dude? I I'm all about anime. I love like Black Clover. I love like One Piece, Naruto, anything nice. like Re Zero. So any of those, man, I'm done with that. So huge anime fan. <laughs> yeah, same. What about you, YDE? What's the go-to when you're not playing Brawl? Uh, well, school, it takes up a lot of time, but uh, when I have free time, then I also play football. Oh, well, it's called uh, soccer, soccer in America. Okay. Soccer, okay. Are you, are, you, are you pretty good? Uh, No, I just play no? with friends. <laughs> just for fun? Hey, yeah, no, yeah. nothing wrong with that. That's how I feel about hockey. I just play for fun, even though it wasn't the greatest. But uh, thank you guys so much for joining. I hope no problem. You I hope you guys get your goal of 1,500 trophies. Um, okay, if you guys, I feel like even if you don't get 1,500 trophies, you probably still are gonna share that experience on your guys' channel. So guys, definitely check out them on YouTube, Twitter. They're all in the description. It's up right now. Go support them. Like the grind has been real and just crazy. You'll definitely learn something from watching them. So thank you guys once again. Any final words? Well, thank you so much for having us. It was yeah. such a nice time here. Yeah, happy to be in one of your videos. Thanks for having us. Yep, yep. Oh, actually, he was on a video yeah. a long time ago. It was uh, back yeah. when I was pushing up a bow to 500. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yep. th thanks again, guys, and we'll see you guys later.